Hey guys, Valeros here from the Arc Trade Federation. Today I'll be showing you where to find Plant R seeds, a setup for the Plant R seeds, and the best way to harvest them. Alright guys, so we are over here on Gen 2. This is the only map um, that has officially been released for ARC that has a chance to drop the uh, plant R seeds. They naturally spawn inside the uh, prime, prime Rockwell area over here on the left side of the map on Gen 2. You can also get them from missions on Gen 2 at a 0.01% drop chance I think. It's, it's, it's very low. Very low drop chance. Plant R seeds that you can get there is one for meat, raw meat, spoiled meat, raw prime, and raw prime fish meat. The raw prime and raw prime fish meat are obviously harder to get. Um, the most common ones are the raw fish and raw meat. Um, below that, just drop chance wise, is spoiled meat. And then like I said, the raw prime and raw prime fish meat have the lowest drop chance when you harvest them uh, from the mutagen in the uh, prime rockwell area. Um, as far as mission drops when you go to get them for missions uh, the drop chance is the same across I think any mission on Gen 2. Uh, give me just a second to double check that. Okay yes so you can get them um, from what I've seen every mission does have a chance to drop it. Um, you can get them from Gamma all the way to Alpha. Uh, alpha giving you more loot. Um, theory you would have a higher chance to get them from Alpha, but you can get them from Gamma missions. And it is, like I said, a 0.01% drop chance. And the pull that it, the set of items that it's has a chance to pull from is a 0 .0 or 0 0.08 or 0.8% chance that it pulls from those selected items that the plant R seeds are in. So it, it's super low. Anyways, so the easiest way to get them is over here. The We're going to be looking for that swirly swirly tentacle bit. And let me turn my gamma up here. We are at 47.45, 29.88. There is my location on the map. I'm over here on my Patreon server right now which is why I'm in creative mode. The first entrance to the prime Rockwell area is right here. This entrance is at 50.72, 29.65. And when you're going to look for this, just remember it's under this, this shelf right here. So there's the first one. And you fly past the tentacle bit just a little bit. And here is your second entrance to the prime Rockwell area. This one's at 50.64, 26.19. Sorry, number's hard. But we're gonna go ahead and fly in through this side. The settings that I have for this, I got everything set up to epic, except for shadows, I don't really have shadows on. The mutagen, when it spawns on the ground, will show up and it'll cast a little light circle around it, like someone has a glow pet active. Uh, is the best way I could describe it. I've never seen the mutagen spawn on these little metal bits right here. I have only seen it spawn on surfaces that look like this here. So when you fly in here, be careful. There is summoners in here. If they detect you, they will uh, start trying to summon stuff to kill you. There is poison stuff right down here. As you can see there's reapers. There's these little tentacle bits that will shoot stuff at you so if you're flying through here on a tech suit um, and you get hit by these little purpley bits that these things shoot out it will knock you off of your tech suit. Leave me alone. Okay. That's dealt with. But they can spawn, the mutagen can spawn up here it can spawn in these planters. It can spawn underneath this structure right here. Um, there is a tunnel here. There is a tunnel over here on the left side. 
and then there is a, another tunnel right here that you can go through. Basilisks also spawn in here, along with uh, Reaper Queens, not just Reapers. You can get Reaper Queens in here too. We're going to go ahead and kill him because he's going to be annoying. Um, the Mutagen can spawn in here. It can either spawn down here on this lower path here or up here on this shelf. The Mutagen can spawn around this entire lake. And if you look at those summoners, they're casting a little light uh, in front of them. That is how they detect you. That's kind of what it looks like when the uh, mutagen uh, is on the ground. Um, a way to help you look for this if you wanted to is to turn your gamma settings down to zero. Of course, it's going to be a lot harder for you to see other stuff as well. So do that at your own risk. I do not recommend it for newer players to do that. Um, I have went through the Prime Rockwell area over here and found the mutagen that is over here. So I'm going to go ahead and fly to it now. There is one over here. Let me kill these Reapers so I can science this in peace. Leave me alone. So this is what it will look like. If you take a mutagen, like you've crafted one, you've taken mutagel and crafted a mutagen, and you throw it out, it will look like this, just to give you an idea if you want to see it for yourself. Um, also, when you get your first mutagen, it will give you a explorer's note. I'm going to go ahead and loot this one just to show you what happens. So be prepared when you do this, because it will summon an army of death on you. So we're going to go ahead and loot the mutagen. As you can see, I got one mutagen and one plant RC2. So it's going to summon blue tentacles. Summoners are going to start attacking me. And the summoners are going to spawn stuff, and it's going to hurt. So as soon as you loot one of those mutagen, you want to get out of this area as fast as possible. So we're going to go ahead and fly out real quick. Fly out, de-aggro everything, and then we're going to go back in there. I'm going to show you some other places where they can spawn. But now that we're out of there, also if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, next to the uh, explore note XP bonus there is a little mutagen symbol that will let you know that there's mutagen down here in this area and once all three mutagen have been looted uh, that symbol will go away I think it's an eight hour spawn timer for this to spawn down here it might be four I'm not sure I don't re quite remember uh, the other one is right over here yep right there is this but here is our mutagen and our plant our seed two. So the two, as you can see right here, is raw fish meat. We'll loot that in a second. We'll loot that on our exit. Uh, I've never seen them spawn on this bridge right here, but they do spawn in around through here. And I don't know if I said this already, but be careful of those tentacles. If you get too close to them, they will knock you down. They'll swat you out of the sky like a tentacle fly swatter. It's weird. There's the other mutagen for us. But we're going to go ahead and fly away from these guys. Fly in through here. Uh, when your server resets, it's a good idea to come in here and see if these have respawned. On official servers, these are uh, in high demand, so I've seen people create uh, alt characters and just leave them logged off right outside of this area and if they find one or they log into each of their characters and if they find one they'll go loot it and then upload it to a terminal and transfer it out I've seen people do that uh, a lot when I played on official but they will spawn in back through here spawn in through here and like I said you do have to get kinda close to see them on the ground just make sure you stay moving if you're going through here on a tech suit. If you go through here on a dino, you want to bring a light pet with you to combat the reapers. Because they uh, will take uh, increased damage if there is a light pet uh, casting, a, uh, casting light on them. Otherwise their damage reduction is like super high and even with a top stack giga it will be a pain in the butt to kill especially if you get a couple of them. But let's go ahead and loot the other two mutagen that's in here and I will show you 
this one, like I said, run like crazy. So that one was spoiled meat, which kind of sucks. And what's this one? Ooh, a prime fish meat one. That one's pretty good. So let's go ahead and run out of here. And as you can see, if you look in there in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, the mutagen buff has disappeared. So let's go ahead and fly out of here and I'm going to cut to an area that I have set up for you guys to show you uh, the best way to uh, set up your mutagen or even your mutagen, your plant R seeds to help you harvest them more efficiently. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so we are back. So I have some crop plots set up here for you. I have one over here. So for these plant R seeds, you will have to have a tech crop plot. They will not grow in a large crop plot. It has to be tech. The crop plot does not have to have greenhouse effectiveness. Having three to five hundred percent does not increase the growth weight, the growth rate at which the plant R seed uh, respawns. Um, ha it has to be irrigated, and you will need fertilizer. Once the plant R seed is grown, it does not have to have power to grow. From what I've tested, I've had it running for two or three hours and they didn't die uh, with power, or when I turned the power off, they didn't die. But when I turned, or when I let them run out of fertilizer, they died instantly. So when you place the plant R seeds, in your troughs, the direction of which you place the trough will determine which way the plant R seed is facing. So I placed this tech crop plot looking at that wall. So the back of the plant R seed will be facing me. So I'm going to put this R1 seed in and as you can tell the back of the tentacle is facing me. So if you want them facing the other direction like these here, I wanted these facing towards these center two foundations right here. I placed these facing this direction so I could see them from this side. So let's go through here and place all of our plant R seeds. We'll place them in order. We've got our fish, we've got spoiled meat. And as you can see, these are practically grow growing instantly and they have zero greenhouse effectiveness. So the plant R seed for raw meat is red. Raw fish meat is like a cyan blue. Spoiled meat is a green. Uh, prime meat is like a pinkish color. And I would probably say that that's like a purple or a blue, somewhere in between there. But that is prime fish meat. You can have your tech crop plot stacked. I know I stacked these weird. It, it, it hurts. It, it looked better on the other side. But let's go ahead and place these in here. Like I said, you can stack them if you so chose to do so. But if you place your plant R seeds down and then you want, you get like, let's say you get another prime or uh, regular raw meat you get another one of those down the road and you want to stack another one on top of it you will not be able to do so I have structure collision turned on on my single or on my uh, official server and it won't even let me do it uh, if you don't have structure collision turned on uh, it won't it'll, it'll be red here I can place it down but it won't be even like these these are these are quasi even we won't talk about that but it it, it it won't work. So if you want to place your plant R's, if you want to place multiple plant R seeds down in a stack, you want to make sure that you plant all your, or place all your crop plot, place all your crop plots first. As a tongue twister. So as far as harvesting these goes, you can use a dino. Um, I, I would recommend a fairy to harvest them. You can use weapons using a uh, uh, on official, the max damage for a chainsaw is 298. Using a 298 chainsaw versus a 100% damage chainsaw is not going to make a difference as far as how much meat you get. It will just increase the rate that you harvest it. 
so you won't have to spend 10 minutes sitting here trying to harvest your um, plant R seed. Uh, I recommend using a chainsaw. Uh, chainsaw is better than a sword. You can use a sword if you want to. Uh, I got a command here to spawn in a fairy. Let's get it a saddle. Help! I typed in fairy saddle so I don't search for every saddle in the game. Let's get our fairy saddle put on it. And we're going to go up here and we're just going to right click. And as you can see, we're hitting the ones in front and behind. So the rates on my Patreon server are set at 5x right now for the Christmas holiday. So that's why we gathered so much. Normally you'll get about three to 500. Uh, it just depends on the rates of your server. But this is a great way to get meat for your dinos so you don't have to go out and do meat runs all the time. These regrow uh, every 30 minutes they will regen. As you can see meat depleted replenishes in 29 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, it's 30 minutes. It just took me a minute to get over here to look at this. I'm sure you seen that <laughs> but uh, they do respawn which is fantastic like I said you have to have fertilizer in them though or they will die and the greenhouse effectiveness does not affect the rate at which they respawn but just to show you that they will harvest these right here you will have to hit them one at a time though so after that first one dies going to start hitting the second one and it's just going to keep going until it's killed every single one of them and from those four right there I got 9,000 raw meat at 5x so these are super awesome if you pair this with a uh, like a S plus mod the aggregator that auto harvests your plant R seeds for you you'll never run out of meat ever like prime meat Prime fish, you'll never run out of those. Ever. Um, but yeah, that is the plant R seeds. How to find them, plant them, and keep them alive. I hope you guys found the video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.